Hi, Genki Call here, back with another Paleo plot tour for Halloween. I have not seen this yet. I came across this on the adventure board, and uh, Reyna, this is so cool. I just saw the sign over there. I saw that raised area in the middle. Just, there's something about this plot that is just so enchanting. I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it yet, except for what you were seeing right now, and I already love it. I already love it. First thing I gotta do is run over here and see how they made this sign. This little pumpkin. Okay, so we've got... Um, I think it's an industrial rug, one of the ones that's kind of flower-shaped. Then they're using the tiger lilies and the candles to create the sign effect and the fiddle frond at the top. Beautiful. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect because it totally looks like the stem of a, of a pumpkin. I love it. So um, do we go to the pumpkin patch first or let's go to this middle area. I love this presentation. I love this presentation. It looks like the entire middle is a cooking area and I love it. The pumpkins, the stairways, the the symmetry with the trees and the banners and everything is just so nice. I love this so much. It's such a beautiful effect. Having this raised area in the middle. Alright, we're going to go around on the bottom. We're going to go around and see all of the different workstations down here the way that she's got them. And they're raised too. All of the workstation areas are raised. And there's one of each kind of station. Each kind of cooking um, area per station. That's amazing. So you don't have to run around everywhere. If there's only two people that show up for a cooking party, you don't have to run everywhere. You have everything that you need at each spot, we've got Rath's, um, the, uh, you know, this thing. <laughs> the thing that you get from Rath for lots and lots of your, um, your tickets. Uh, they're not called tickets. Medals? Anyway, they all are decorated differently. Everything has this wonderful fall theme. We've got floating candles and pumpkins and mushrooms and just all kinds of goodies set out to eat and it just all looks scrumptious it looks lovely I love it love it love it we even got a little shimmer fin there and a fruity drink mmm -hmm, you're making me hungry you're making me hungry all right let's go see the pumpkin patch because I just the, the oh it's so evocative. It's the color scheme is absolutely perfect. I love the little pops of blue on the sides here. And there's just so there's so much orange with the pops of green and the blue like before, the brown, the orange, the uh, it's just I love this the way that they've made these the pumpkin patches here. Um, and they've put these um, ranch house veggie planters along the edge to create an, to create a demarcation where the pumpkin patch, um, each patch is. They're so full of pumpkins. This is crazy amount of pumpkins. I love this centerpiece. What did they do here? Okay. 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 So... At the bottom, we have a log house. Um, I can't remember what kind of table that is. In the middle is a makeshift item, which I also can't remember the name of, but it's it kind of... Thank you. Um, it, if I could pick it up and show it to you, it's a makeshift item, though. Um, it kind of looks like a... My words are failing me. I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry, guys. I haven't been getting much sleep lately. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, it's a makeshift item. Let's just leave it at that since I can't think properly. Here's a beautiful display area. It kind of looks like this is meant for people. These are pre-picked. Go ahead and pick what you want. Take it to B 
be purchased over here by the Kitsu. Love having a Kitsu at the register. It's so very nice. Oh, okay. So they have the angled roof. They have the angled roof up there and they put the, uh, the pavers on top of it. And I love how they hung that Lily Rattan thing off of the front. They had to have glitched that there. I don't think that they could have gotten that there without glitching it. And it's beautiful there. All right, let me go look in the Kitsu area here. Do, 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 do. Let's see what they're using for the register. So this is in the one of the investigator desks that has been clipped into the table. And it makes a perfect register, much better than the what I was using on my plots. So I love it. Love it. I'm going to start using that. <laughs> and I love all of the pictures in the back. It's just, it's all very cozy and beautifully cluttered. I love how they stacked the pumpkins here by size as well. That is also a great look. Love that. All right. And what is in here? Ooh, this looks very spooky and I love it. It loves me some spooky, y'all. I do. We've got the orange and the purple and this beautifully laid out table with the floating candles, kind of the, the Ravenwood uh, chandelier up there is kind of creepy and it's just it's just a great vibe in here. We've got the book down here at the end. It's like maybe somebody's, you know, casting some spells or looking up some some kind of spooky spell to cast spooky spell you know what i mean lack of sleep y'all lack of sleep oh i just love this plot reina this is beautiful all right let's see is there anything over here i'm guessing not oh oh there is something over here though oh there is something over here so she didn't just leave this blank she did add a little extra decoration here and an outhouse have a little bit of the rug sticking out, but that is a kind of a nice effect here. Now, what did she clip in here that needed the extra wood paneling? I'm, I must know because, you know, I like to understand these things. Hold on, we gotta go in here and see. Ah, it's for the mirror. It's so that she, oh, oh, this is fantastic. Oh, I never would have thought to do this. Look, look. There is a pumpkin creature coming through the mirror. You can see with the, it's not just the pumpkin head, it's also the hand. And I love this effect. It is so spooky and perfect. I love it. Oh, oh, Raina. <laughs> I love this so much. Oh, you made me so happy. Oh, it's so deliciously creepy. I love it love it i'm being too loud sorry everybody's trying to sleep here in my home oh it oh i'm so glad i noticed that it is perfect now i don't think there's anything out of bounds over here just gonna look because it's fun get a little peek out here if you don't have this plot you can see what's over here okay i'm gonna come on back i'm oh there's a back door over there okay so we're gonna come back around and we're going to we're gonna follow the pathway the meant way it's meant to be pa followed. We've got more of the stacked pumpkins. Ooh, I do love this makeshift item, this makeshift indoor planter, whatever it's called. I love it, and I want more of them. And they've got a circular, oh, a market square here with the fountain in the middle surrounded by the pumpkins and the, the small juniper trees. Oh, I love this plot. This plot is making me so happy, y'all. Oh, this is just what I've been looking for. We've got a little plant shop over here. I love this. It's so, it's so evocative. This whole place, so evocative. And so cozy and so beautifully, beautifully put together. I love that we've got the terracotta pavers on top of this roof just to give us some mm, variety. We've got the ore move tending the bar. I love that. I'm going to get around. I'm going to get around to the rest of it. I just don't want to miss this over here. I love the way that this is put together with the smaller trees in the front as you go in and the bigger trees around in this clearing over here. 
Now this looks different somehow. She has glitched some kind of light into the spring fever chimney. Oh! Okay, so we've got the spring fever chimney on top of the campfire. Now, is there a light as well? I think there might be a light under there as well because I don't think that the campfire puts out any light unless it's on. And the only way to have it on is to have it currently cooking something. But this is such a nice effect, these new stumps here. I wonder if we can sit on them. Oh, I haven't, I haven't worked with these much. I've been fighting with my newest plot that doesn't have any of this kind of stuff in it. Oh. Oh, and there's a little moochin poking his head out from under the bushes in the tree. Oh. Oh. I cannot tell you how happy this plot is making me. Also, inspiration. Inspiration is what... Oh. Oh, I love the banners at the bottom of the stage here. And you know what? I think that this is the best stage for music that I have seen in Palea thus far. I don't think I've ever seen one quite this perfect before. It's the lighting, it's the banners on the front, it's the rug, it's the lights, you know, the lights as in the uh, the candles across the bottom. It's the way that they have the the um the, the instruments angled and they created a drum stick. A drum kit. They created their own drum kit and it's perfect. Look, it's rocker pods. It's rocker pods. Oh, it's perfect. Now I'm going to have to get all of the rocker pods so I can do this too. I love this drum kit. I love this whole stage, the whole presentation, the covering, the, um, the sides, the banners on the sides, everything about this is perfect. We've got a little audience here with a couple little choppas watching the show. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Okay, what do we got over here? We've got another little shop with the Proud Horn Cernuck. And they are selling, it looks like, potions. Potions. And, mm, nope, I think the candles are just for effect lovely perfect you gotta have a potion shop on a witchy plot and we've got the food and i love the way this is put together with the banners now the banners on the top there alternating colors another kind of variation on the rooftop another beautiful variation i love how they put the tea set on this wooden round wooden paver it's beautiful absolutely beautiful what have they got here Okay, this is an item, this one, right here next to the fruit bowl. This is an item I just saw somebody have on stream. I'm guessing it's from the Lunar New Year Maji Market because I've never seen it before and I've only been playing since April. So um, I'm guessing that's where it has to be from. I love the variety of foods they have here. And this is just so perfect it looks like fair food i have never i'll be honest i've never liked the the maji market foods that you have to spend your tickets on you get them starred if you're lucky and then they're in this paper they don't look very good but i think she must have angled this some so that you could see it better and the way it's presented it's like fair food and it's perfect i'm going to be saying perfect a lot here guys because this plot is beautiful and you can tell from my voice i am so excited about this plot i love the little picnic area too the use of the privacy screens the flowers the trees the plants just the, the little plushies sitting here more more of the goodies here the fun guy is the fun guy as the um, the cook. I love that. Or the person giving out the food anyway. Oh, I... It's partly, it's partly lack of sleep, y'all. It's par partly lack of sleep. And being a little bit... Um, oh my gosh! I never noticed the little faces poking out of 
scope there. That's so funny. Um, I, I'm a little hyper from lack of sleep. I, I gotta admit, I'm a little hyper from lack of sleep, and that's why I'm so excited about all of this. Overly excited, perhaps, but it's so beautiful. I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna run around to the other side. I'm gonna walk at a normal pace, actually. And we're going to check out the other side. Oh, I am so glad that you featured this plot, Reyna. I probably wouldn't have seen it otherwise. I absolutely love it. Um, let me know if you see this, Reyna, and what kind of reaction you want on your plot at this point. I can come and give you another reaction in like nine hours or something. I don't know what, uh, six hours? I'm not sure what, how, I think twice a day? All right, let's check out the house. Again, with the very cozy fall, fall colors in here, fireplace, it's just very warm and cozy. And we've got a, a little dining table set up over here with some goods, somebody, this is all for one person? That's a big meal for one person. And they've put their, their dinnerware in a, one of these industrial... I don't remember what it's called um but this can open and you can put things inside of there you can say that it's refrigerated stuff you can say that it's a china cabinet whatever you want to do it works and then they did they glitch this nope nope it's just put together really nicely i love this little l shape this very cozy kitchen with all of the um the earthenware here and the pots and the pans. Again, here's that item that I don't recognize. I wonder, so the jam has a bow on it. I wonder, and pine cones. I wonder if this is a Christmas thing, honestly. All right, I'm gonna stop perseverating on that. We're gonna move along. Oh, it's all so beautiful. All right, let's see what we've got over here. More beautiful paintings. We've. She has um, separated this out. We've got a hallway here. We're going to go left first. I'll look right when we come back. Oh, I see the bathroom. And we're going to go straight in the bathroom. Not going to look over there yet. Oh, this is so cozy. Oh, my goodness. We've. I love this laundry area. I don't know what it is about this laundry area that I love so much, but why does it look so cozy? Why is everything on this plot so perfect? Reina, I'm jealous. I'm all jelly. We've got the privacy area for the toilet, always appreciated. And the bathtub and the windowsill is not overdone. We've... Is that the Moshi Market tray? You were able to fit all of that onto the Moshi Market tray. You had to have glitched some of that in, but it looks perfect. <gasps> now I'm going to have to get some more of those. Oh, no. They cost a lot for the, the size of it, but uh, yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's perfect for holding all of those little shampoos and perfumes and whatnot that you may need for your bath. The, the um, Lily Rattan cotton, whatever that is, perfect. This all just looks so nice. Love the candles as well. Oh, we've got the bedroom here. So this is like a master bedroom, master bath over here. I've never see, actually seen anybody leave this open before, but it is perfect for books. I love that. I also love how you... Ah, this is the chimney. The other one was a spring pe fever fire pit. Those of you that were screaming in the contents com comments, I noticed this is the chimney. But I love how you put it on top of the little dresser thing there. Oh, this is all so nice. Oh. Now, I don't know which type you have to be to get this garland. This I was a fire type, so mine is very different, but this looks so beautiful in here. I wish that we could get all four of them, really. It would be so, so very nice. Oh, this place is just so wonderful. Reyna, you have made me so, so happy today. I am just overjoyed to have found this plot and to be able to share it with all of my viewers. It's beautiful.
It's absolutely beautiful, y'all. Be sure to stop by Reyna's plot and give her a reaction. Check the comments and see if she has responded with which one she wants, or if you know her, maybe you know and you can tell me. But anyway, I have had the best time visiting this plot. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. I also hope that you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be. Check out the videos popping up on the screen now if you are so inclined, and we'll see you all later. Bye-bye!